it's already the biggest movie of the year, and now a New York City startup is hoping the Star Wars hype can earn it. The hottest gift this Christmas season, they're well on their way. Toy company Little Bits has created a build-it-yourself R2-D2 droid kit. The company is taking a modern approach to sales, posting videos like these on YouTube to reach a younger audience. I'm joined by the CEO of Little Bits, Ayo Badir. Thank you so much for being with us. And I said you're well on your way. It looks like you're topping Amazon's list uh, of tech toys and gadgets. First, talk to me, before we talk about the toy itself, a little bit about your strategy. I know I'm inundated by advertisements, trying to draw our kids in on television, but you're not taking that traditional approach. You went right to kid influencers. Why was that? We don't like to talk down to kids. We don't like to be condescending and tell them what they should um, play with or what they should be excited by. And so we prefer to have kids talk to other kids. And so we uh, worked with uh, some of the most amazing uh, kid influencers like EventTube and uh, Kyle's Toys and Games. They're the ones that did unboxings and they're the ones that shared their, their honest feelings and their honest opinions about the product. And that's what gets kids most excited. Yeah, because I tell you, these kids these days, I have too, they're very wise when they're being sold to. They really want some something authentic and probably something from your their peer group um, so so the toys doing really well it's very timely it's it's has a tie into Star Wars what is the hurdle of getting kids to to gravitate to tech and coding and, and this type of toy there are a lot of products and toys that uh, that are technology focused where the, uh, kids have devices since they're age two but so many of the toys out there are about consumption so kids are using media they're using technology the way it's intended they're just passive consumers we want to make them inventors we want to allow them to make to construct to invent to be creative to make things uh, of their own minds to really uh, get creative and be confident uh, and so what we do with our uh, droid inventor kit is we give them all the pieces and we tell them build up your R2D2 and then customize it and then send it on missions and control it with your phone and do all sorts of things to kind of invent your own uh, droid of the future which is amazing and we're and we're seeing uh, the video now of them doing that I mean who doesn't want one of those your own and I, I know this really makes parents happy as well because all of us are trying to figure out a way to engage our children and get them thinking this way thinking in this this way that's going to be the foundation for the future i'm interested you have in the commercial boys and girls do they both respond the same way there's a lot of talk about getting girls engaged in stem i have a daughter and a son um sometimes it's hard because a lot of this stuff seems more geared toward the boys so part of the mission of Little Bits is to get more girls excited about STEM and STEAM. And it's been our mission since the very first days of the company six years ago. The product is gender neutral for that reason. Uh, we make sure to embed everything in the design of the product, in the communication. Our hero video for this campaign uh, was a girl. She's the one that's kind of leading uh, the charge in this droid inventor movement. Uh, we designed the product so that it really uh, speaks to girls' play patterns. Um, and as a result, we have 35 to 40% of our community is girls, which is four to five times the average in Star Wars in general and in, in uh, tech toys and robotic toys um, uh, which is amazing I, I find that my daughter when she's in an innovation lab is much more engaged than when it's sort of being taught in a different manner getting their hands on is so yeah. important very very much true to the film itself too we see this amazing female yeah. character you know wielding her um, her light sword how important is that tie-in does that help given the huge attention around Star Wars as well it's a huge tie-in it's extremely important we work closely with Disney and with Lucasfilm on this. Uh, they have a big mandate also and a big focus on, on uh, empowering young girls as well. Uh, that's why you see it. You know, Ray is a the hero. She's a tinker. She's a problem solver. She's an inventor. And so we really tapped into that energy and really want to create role models for girls, but also want to do it in a way that doesn't alienate boys. It's right. about girls and boys playing together. It's about being gender neutral, gender free. Uh, and it's really about telling kids that, um, uh, you know, inspiration is within. And if they're able to collaborate and be creative, they can kind of do whatever they want. They've got the force in them, right? Exactly. It's perfect for the holidays and so great to see something that's going to unleash their little minds and not just something that they sort of zone out in front of. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank Appreciate you for it. Me. Good luck and congratulations on being the number one toy. There you go. If you're last minute hunting, that's it for this edition of CNN Money. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again next time.